Welcome to the fantasy audiobook, Jujutsu Kaisen, The Snow Woman Wife at the Beginning is So Beautiful. Chapter 61 The moment Wa Yu left, Gojo Satoru suddenly appeared beside Lan Shuyan. Lan, you could have taken action just now, why don't you purify her? Gojo Satoru raised his arm and put it on Lan Shuyan's shoulder. He actually knew that Lan Shuyan liked to curse the spirit girl, but Wa Yu was obviously not someone he could tame. The cursed spirit lady is everything. The cursed spirit lady is Sai Gao. But teacher, why are you back? After Lan Shuyan made his declaration, he looked at Gojo Satoru with resentment. If Gojo Satoru did not appear, then Wa Yu might continue to fight him. The singer called me, and I rushed back as fast as I could. Gojo Satoru let go of Lan Shuyan's shoulders and looked at Yuji Itadori. Very good, Yuji's level has been raised. Gojo Satoru said, and then looked at Todu Aoi who was beside Yuji Itadori. Is it Aoi? Indeed, he and Yuji will get along very well. Gojo Satoru thought so in his mind, and then clapped his hands and asked everyone to go back. There will be a lot of work next. The next day, Gojo Satoru and his team have figured out the reason for the attack. They also figured out that a cursed spirit took away a lot of things from a room in the Tianyuan barrier, and Gojo Satoru came to a conclusion based on the details, so there must be a traitor in their group. With this kind of thing happening, Gojo Satoru couldn't investigate his affairs. When he was about to attend the meeting, Lan Shuyan appeared, and with him was Mekamaru from Kyoto High School. This surprised Gojo Satoru a little. Because Gojo Satoru knew that Kyoto had a lot of opinions about Lan Shuyan, and he couldn't understand why Mekamaru would be with Lan Shuyan. Teacher, Lan Shuyan greeted Gojo Satoru with a smile. Oh, what's wrong, Lan, it's really surprising that you're with Mekamaru. Gojo Satoru also responded to Lan Shuyan with a smile. The two of them together really don't look like students and teachers. The three of them came to a classroom. Mekamaru, speak for yourself. Lan Shuyan did not intend to say anything else, but looked at Mekamaru. After the battle yesterday, Lan Shuyan found Mekamaru and signed a bond with him. After all, the real person was dead, and the bond between him and the real person had expired. In other words, even if he violated the bond, he would not be punished. Moreover, Lan Shuyan also showed him his, inaction transformation, alone, so Mekamaru believed it. Mekamaru was silent for a while, and finally told him about the deal between him and Ghetto Suguru, which also included the Shibuya plan. Lan Shuyan directly found a chair and sat down. Part of the reason for signing the bond with Mekamaru was because he wanted to deal with Ghetto Suguru. He was a person who remembered grudges and was grateful. Gojo Satoru was sincere to him, so he should repay him. So that's how it is. But I'm curious, why do you know that you and Kokichi are their helpers? Gojo Satoru was very calm after hearing this. He has confirmed that Ghetto is still alive. Or rather, his, body, is still alive, but his inner self is definitely not. Well, when I first used my, mirror flower, I was able to obtain all the other party's experience and memory, which was also mixed with some of the other party's memories. Last time in the juvenile detention center, I copied the mirror image of Luhu, so I knew their plan. Only Lan Shuyan himself knew the effect of his ability. Even if his ability was recorded, it might not be completely correct. Moreover, even if the record was correct, for a guy like Lan Shuyan who liked to play with bondage like crazy, all the records were meaningless. I see, it seems that the recorded ability data may not be complete. Gojo Satoru did not doubt it, because he knew that although Lan Shuyan had strange habits, he was unlikely to join the enemy. I'm not bragging. Lan Shuyan knew how powerful he was, so Lan Shuyan should not make a choice that would be disadvantageous to him. I think we can use Kokichi to lure them out. At present, the top leaders in Kyoto do not know that I have killed the real person, and the people on the side of Ghetto Suguru will definitely not tell the news of the real person's death to the main body of the mechanical pill. They will choose to let the main body of the mechanical pill think that the restraints are still there. Besides, they definitely don't know that I know that Mekamaru is a traitor. So there is a lot of room for maneuver here. Lan Shuyan looked at Gojo Satoru. Only Nanami Kento and Gojo Satoru knew about the ability of transformation without action. Perhaps Sukuna also knew about it. After all, Itadori Yuji fell asleep in the back seat at that time. 
This made Gojo Satoru think about it. He really didn't expect that the cursed spirit had such a thorough sealing plan for him. Maybe it's possible. What do you think about Kokichi-san? Gojo. Satoru looked at Mekamaru again. I have no problem with this, it's also compensation. Robomaru didn't expect that they would attack the students this time. What excuse should I use to attract them here? Jijiwen looked at Lan Shuyan who was sitting beside him. This is easy. I think they will get rid of you soon. After all, you know too much. They didn't kill you immediately after the death of the real one, it must be because yesterday's plan still needs to be executed, they are betting that you don't know that the real one has been killed, you will continue to provide them with information. Lan Shuyan grinned. Shayu Jia also looks like a gambler. If Jikinmaru knew that the real one was dead, he would directly reveal something to Gojo Satoru, and their plan would definitely fail this time. But in fact, Shayu Jia used his connections to clearly know that the death of the real one was just regarded as an ordinary exorcism. After all, various cursed spirits are exorcised in the world of curses almost every day, and it is impossible for every one of them to absorb other people's attention. That's why Ghetto Suguru used the same trick against him. As for Ghetto Suguru, how did they know that it was Lan Shuyan who exorcised the real person? When he placed the Sukuna finger at Yoshino Junpei's house, he was watching nearby. After all, he just put down his finger and found someone approaching here, so he left and hid directly. He saw with his own eyes that Lan Shuyan used ritual reversal in action transformation to transform Yoshino Junpei's brain back, and at the same time took away Yoshino Junpei's Shikigami. From that moment on, Ghetto Suguru knew that the real person died at the hands of Lan Shuyan. After all, he also knew the effect of Lan Shuyan's ability. In other words, we need to stay with Kokichi and wait for them to come. Gojo Satoru touched his chin and seemed to think that this plan was okay. This was better than him aimlessly looking for Ghetto Shayu, so he finally decided to cooperate with Lan Shuyan's plan. Well, the deal is done. You and I exchange. At this time, Mechanical Pill looked at Lan Shuyan. Tell us where you are, and I will complete our bondage after we get there. Lan Shuyan responded to the Mechanical Pill's question. In the territory of Tagore. At this time, Ghetto Shayu was already lying on a lounge chair on the beach. Lu Hu was standing, looking at Tagore swimming in the sea not far away. The death of Zhenren made him very uncomfortable. After all, among them, Zhenren had the most growth potential, so they let Zhenren be their leader, and Ghetto Shayu was just their partner. But, at the same time, they were helpless. They couldn't think of how to take revenge on Lan Shuyan. Instead, Ghetto Shayu's indifference made Lu Hu very annoyed, but for the sake of his ideal world, he could only continue to cooperate with Ghetto Shayu. By the way, is it necessary to place the Sukuna finger in that human's house? Wouldn't that be the same as giving it to the kid at the technical college? Lu Hu suddenly remembered something and asked Sha Yuji. That one, it was originally intended to be given to the technical high school. Ghetto Suguru didn't stand up, but responded directly. In the original work, the real person also asked Ghetto Suguru this question at Yoshino Junpei School, and Ghetto Suguru replied that it was intentionally given to the technical high school. Normally speaking, the students at the technical high school will give it to Gojo Satoru, and Gojo Satoru will definitely give it to Yuji Itadori to eat. This is Ghetto Suguru's purpose. To put it bluntly, there is something wrong with that Sukuna finger. As long as Yuji Itadori eats that finger, the Sukuna in his body will know the details of the plan he wants to implement with Sukuna. Otherwise, it's really, it cannot explain the cooperation between Ghetto Suguru and Sukuna in the play. Even if a contract was really signed a thousand years ago, many things will change a thousand years later, so Ghetto Suguru needs to tell Sukuna his new plan. Of course, it was because of this that Lan Shuyan was worried about it that he asked Gojo Satoru not to give this Sukuna finger to Yuji Itadori. Click, just as they were talking, the door suddenly opened. Then Hanamiya with a new image walked in directly, which made Ghetto Suguru and Rohu look over. Then, Ghetto Suguru stood up directly, and Rohu also got ready. It's me, Hanamiya's symbolic independent language appeared, and the meaning echoed in their minds. Then Shayujiya and Luhu were both stunned. They both made the same chin-touching gesture, walked in front of Hanamiya, surrounded her and looked. Hana, you look so cute now. Shayuji really wanted to laugh, 
but as a bad guy, he tried hard to hold back his laughter. You're so long-winded. Wa Yu gritted her teeth. She still didn't need to open her mouth to speak, so her little mouth was still tightly closed. She was also very depressed. She didn't like her current body, okay. Fortunately, it looked like a plant-like appearance, which she could accept. Was it that Lan Shuyan who did it? Lu Hu also wanted to laugh, because Wa Yu looked much better now than before. Curse spirits don't care about their appearance, but no one is without aesthetic sense. For example, the special grade curse spirits, basically, when they have self-thinking, will make their bodies closer to humans. This is their instinctive persistence. Um, moreover, I fought with Lan Shuyan, and the restraints set by my domain did not work on him. He was just like a human being who eroded the forest in nature. No matter how nature resisted humans, humans could always destroy nature. Kegaya understood what Wa Yu meant. If they were a program, then Lan Shuyan was a bug that could not be fixed. That guy is really a difficult problem to solve. But I have already thought of a solution. Now we have to solve another problem. We need to sort it out with Kokichi, after all, he knows a lot about us. Now he seems to be unaware that the real person is dead, and thinks that the restraints are still there, so we have to take advantage of this time to get rid of him. Sha Yuji is not too worried about Lan Shuyan. So, who's going? Lu Hu looked at Sha Yuji. You go with Hua Yu and make sure to get rid of him. I'm going to China. If we can resolve the issue with Xing Ji, then our plan will remain the same, but if we can't resolve it, our plan will have to change. Xiao Yu Jia showed his fake smile. He was going to do something to deal with Lan Shuyan. Yes, Lu Hu had no resistance. Because for Lu Hu, as long as their ideal world can be realized, it doesn't matter if they cooperate with Ghetto Suguru, even if they will sacrifice their lives. And it is also easy for him to deal with a person who is related to Kokichi. After all, he is just a quasi-first-level sorcerer. Well, I'll leave it to you guys, Sha Yuji said, putting his hands in his sleeves, and opened the door and went out. Wa Yu, pff cough cough cough. Looking at Wa Yu's current appearance as a flower fairy again, he really couldn't help but feel a little depressed. Because Wa Yu is really too petite now. Laugh if you want to. It's great to be able to come back alive. It doesn't matter if it turns out like this. Anyway, for us cursed spirits, the body is just used to realize the image of our existence. Wa Yu was open-minded and even a little happy. Because she found that she could control her curse power more smoothly now, and she didn't know whether it was because of Lan Shuyan's positive energy curse power injected into her body, she felt that she could now attack with positive energy. Let's go, let's go and deal with that sorcerer. Lu Hu suppressed the corners of his mouth that were curled up wildly. Yeah, Wa Yu nodded. The next day, the sky was gray. The rainy season in Japan is from May to July, with a lot of rain, and it was hot and humid. Wa Yu and Lu Hu came to a reservoir. They headed for a place according to the route they knew. They didn't notice that after they entered the passage, Lan Shuyan walked out of a dark place. In his normal state, he was just an ordinary person, and even the curse spirits couldn't sense his ordinary person. Only Wa Yu and Lu Hu. Lan Shuyan frowned, but soon Lan Shuyan smiled and shook his head. Sha Yuji probably didn't want to take the risk and let these two not-so-smart people come to test. Miss Qingxin, thank you for your help. Lan Shuyan raised his hand and called Qingxin Shuiji with a smile. This made Qingxin Shuiji turn into a white light and come out from the back of Lan Shuyan's hand. She gave Lan Shuyan a charming look. Then she began to make a seal, and the form of the seal made Lan Shuyan feel familiar. Those who are about to fight are all lined up in front. Not flowering world transparent ripples. As Qingxin Shuiji's voice echoed, Lan Shuyan's eyes widened in shock. Shit. Isn't this China's nine-character mantra and nine-character handprint? How could Qingxin Shuiji know this? And he asked Qingxin Shuiji to help set up the barrier. Tent, how did it turn out like this? This is the plan that Lan Shuyan and Gojo Satoru discussed. That is, after the cursed spirits enter, they will find a way to use the barrier to trap them. After all, Gojo Satoru and Lan Shuyan came here for Ghetto Shayu in the first place. Although Gojo Satoru should be able to deal with them without much effort, it is not certain whether Ghetto Shayu and his men really have a way to leave instantly. Moreover, they also need the tent to cover up. 
and if they want to cast the tent, they might as well give some specific restrictions to kill all possibilities. But, although Gojo Satoru can use the tent, he does not have the ability to give specific restrictions, because Gojo Satoru is really not good at this. So he asked Qingshan Shuiji, because he knew that Qingshan Shuiji could use the barrier, because the barrier of Qingshan Ice Garden was cast by Qingshan Shuiji himself. The effect is to resist any cursed spirit from approaching. Otherwise, Sukuna's finger place there would have been discovered by the cursed spirit long ago. But now, Lan Shuyan is completely confused. He looked up at the sky. The barrier cast by Qingshan Shuiji was not black like the tent, but white, and its shape was like a transparent bud about to bloom. Qingshan Shuiji, if I remember correctly, this spell and handprint should be from China, right? Why does the snow girl know the Chinese nine-character mantra? Lan Shuyan was very confused. He was really curious. Curious about the origin of Qingshan Shuiji. Ah, I never said that I was born in Japan. The legend of the Japanese snow woman was derived from the version based on the concubine's identity after the concubine appeared in Japan. Just like Shangliu, it came to Japan and turned into the Yamada no Orochi, but was later killed by Sukuna. Qingshan Shuiji covered her mouth with her hand, and her voice was full of joy. Ah, Lan Shuyan choked, it seemed to be true. No wonder Lan Shuyan felt that some of Qingshan Shuiji's behaviors were not like those of Japan, but more like those of a lady from China. In other words, Qingshan Shuiji was a cursed spirit from China. But your name, Lan Shuyan looked at Qingshan Shuiji. Let me give you a hint. The Qingshan Mountain is famous for its silver snow, and the citrus buds are sprouting in the bottle. Qingshan. Shuiji said as she floated behind Lan Shuyan, and hugged Lan Shuyan's neck again. Shuguo buried the back of Lan Shuyan's head again, and her chin rested on the top of Lan Shuyan's head. And Lan Shuyan started to think. Are you bullying me for not understanding ancient Chinese? Lan Shuyan cursed and started to walk towards where Lu Hu and Hua Yu went. By the way, what is the effect of this barrier? What is the difference between it and tent? Lan Shuyan asked Qingshan Shuiji. Refuse to allow cursed spirits to enter or leave. It is the same as the barrier of Qingshan Ice Garden, but the barrier of Qingshan Ice Garden can last for nearly 500 years because it has Sukuna Finger as its foundation, which can continuously provide cursed power. Now this is using my positive energy to perform the spell, which can only last for about an hour. Qingshan Shuiji explained to Lan Shuyan. This made Lan Shuyan nod his head. The effect of this barrier seemed to be similar to the barrier of the Jujutsu Academy. And the fact that it could have this effect proved that Qingshan Shuiji's ability in barrier was very good. Wait, did we talk about Xiongliu just now? Lan Shuyan suddenly realized. Does. Xiongliu really exist? Isn't that thing in the classic of mountains and seas? Actually, it should be said that it is like Sukuna. The original name of Sukuna was not Two-Faced Sukuna, but it was called Sukuna because it has four hands and two faces. The same is true for Xiongliu. It was called Xiongliu because it resembled the Xiongliu in Shanheijing. It happened to be affected by the battle between the first generation, Mirror Flower Water Moon, owner and the special grade vengeful spirit, Kai Lexi, and was easily beheaded, so it fled to Japan. Because it is missing a head, it is called Yamada no Orochi. Cheng Xuan Shuiji responded to Lan Shuyan with a doting look in her eyes. Ah, how weak was Xiongliu? He was affected by other people's battles, had his head chopped off, and then he fled to Japan. Lan Shuyan's mouth twitched. Is piracy really piracy? After all, it's just because he looks like Xiongliu, not the real Xiongliu. And Lan Shuyan also knew that the Ryoman Sukuna from a thousand years ago was really not the Ryoman Sukuna in Japanese legends. Sukuna was originally a human being. He was only called Ryoman Sukuna because he awakened and his body became two-faced and four-handed. As for Lu Hu and Hua Yu, they have arrived at their destination. They looked at Yukichi who was sitting on a chair and was stunned. Because Yukichi's hands and feet at this moment were completely different from what they had seen before. Yo, trash, I've been waiting for you for a long time. Yukichi spoke slowly. This made Lu Hu feel nothing was wrong, he turned around and was about to leave immediately, and Hua Yu did the same. But, Soon their faces changed drastically, because at this moment Gojo Satoru was standing where they had just come in. Hey, we meet again. Gojo Satoru put his hands in his pockets, looking very cool. 
Now Lu Hu understood that he and Kokichi had already realized that the real person was dead, and they even leaked the secret regardless of the consequences of their previous deal. Gojo Satoru was there at this time, and Lu Hu knew that he would definitely not survive. So after looking at Hanamiya, he rushed to Gojo Satoru's position without hesitation, and even directly expanded his domain to wrap Gojo Satoru in it without hesitation. And Hanamiya did not hesitate at all, and directly escaped into the ground. But before she completely escaped, she found that the domain cast by Lu Hu was instantly shattered, and Lu Hu's head, Gojo Satoru held it in his hand. He really just entered the realm, and then the realm was directly shattered. If you run away, he will die. And you can't escape. There is a barrier outside. You can't escape even if you fly. Gojo Satoru held Lu Hu's head and looked at Wayu who was left with only her head after diving into the ground. Although Gojo Satoru could take Wayu's head off now, she would definitely not be able to escape, but Lan Shuyin asked him to keep Wayu. As a teacher who dotes on his students, Gojo Satoru would definitely agree. Leave me alone, Hanami. Get out, said Lu Hu, whose head was held in Gojo Satoru's hand. This is not a question of whether to talk or not, but she can't escape. The barrier outside is deep underground, and its effect is to resist any cursed spirit from entering or leaving. At this time, Lan Shuyin slowly walked in from the door behind Gojo Satoru, looking at Yu with a smile. Hello, Miss Yu, we meet again. Lan Shuyin greeted Yu with a smile. That is to say, whether you run away or not, you can't escape now. Of course. You can choose to hide underground in the barrier, then I will let the teacher launch a range attack on the ground here. Lan Shuyin smiled, but he couldn't stop drooling. Dian Yu has thorns and is poisonous, it can't be used, there will be countless blood holes. Qingxin Shuiji is covered in ice, it can't be used, it will turn into broken ice. Lan Shuyin was speechless, he urgently needed a usable one to satisfy his hobby. After listening to Lan Shuyin's words, he finally emerged from the ground again, and his whole body stood on the ground. Oh, how strange. It turns out that cursed spirits also have emotional ties. Gojo Satoru was also surprised. This was the first time he encountered cursed spirits like Rohu and Hanami. Rohu, whose head was held by Gojo Satoru, sighed helplessly. What is your purpose? If he wanted to exorcise us, he shouldn't be communicating with us. Gojo Satoru could have taken off my head when I was escaping into the ground. Hana took the initiative to ask. I have to say she is smart. It's simple, just become my Shikigami. Flower Fairy, you don't want anything to happen to Mount Fuji, do you? Lan Shuyin made a statement about a Japanese NTR. As long as you become my Shikigami, we can let Lu Hu live. But before Lan Shuyin finished speaking, he suddenly realized that something was wrong. This made Lan Shuyin turn his head and look at Gojo Satoru. The Lu Hu head in his hand had begun to shatter. Wa Yu, see you in a hundred years. Although we may not know each other by then, I will still look forward to meeting you and Jenren again. Lu Hu's voice was very low. They are not afraid of death. As long as their plan can succeed, it doesn't matter if they are not standing in the new world. And Lu Hu will never be a point for Wa Yu to be threatened. He chose self-destruction. Since he was beaten to the point of only his head twice, the feeling of being unable to die made Lu Hu directly set a self-disintegration constraint for himself. As long as he is determined to die, he can self-disintegrate. Because of Lu Hu's behavior, it is also because he knows very well that with Gojo Satoru here, they have no chance of winning. Yeah, I'll be looking forward to it too. Lu Hu. Why you retreated quickly? Even if she knew she had no chance of winning, she would still try her best. This made Lan Shuyin sigh helplessly. If you want to subdue the cursed spirit and make it your own Shikigami, you have to train it so that it dares not resist, and it will submit to you in order to survive and establish a bond with you to become your own Shikigami. But, now Wa Yu obviously knows that she has no chance of winning and has no intention of becoming Lan Shuyin's Shikigami, so if she fails but does not die later, she will self disintegrate. Knew it, you are not afraid of death, which is what I expected. I just want to give it a try. Lan Shuyin spread his hands helplessly and sighed. Why do they feel like the villains in this situation? Well, never mind, I don't like to force things, so at least I will exorcise you myself. Lan Shuyin clenched his fists, tilted his head, widened his eyes and grinned. 
Seeing Lan Shuyin like this, Gojo Satoru smiled and stepped back. He stood beside Qingxin Shuiji. Since Lan Shuyin appeared just now, Qingxin Shuiji has been standing at the door. Miss Qingxin, Lan's personality is indeed extreme. If you can't get it, destroy it yourself. Gojo Satoru teased Lan Shuyin, but Qingxin Shuiji moved a step to the left, covered her mouth with her hand and glanced at Gojo Satoru with disgust. The corners of Gojo Satoru's mouth twitched. Is he so disliked by Qingxin Shuiji? Is he serious about moving one step aside? Crash! Just when Qingxin Shuiji was disliked by Gojo Satoru, Yu's whole body disappeared on the spot, and Lan Shuyin's figure followed closely behind. They broke through the dome and came to the outside area. Gojo Satoru, Qingxin Shuiji, and Kokichi followed closely behind. At this time, Yu and Lan Shuyin were already standing in the forest beside the reservoir wall. For Yu, being in a natural environment is more beneficial to her. This time Lan Shuyin did not use the copied mirror image to restrain her, but simply the acquired cursed power will be spread all over the body to strengthen his body. Then, Lan Shuyin began to strike a stance. Step forward, hold the fist, double top, dust off, hold the fist, step on the foot and draw the bow. The moment he took the last step, the whole person rushed out like a cannonball. This is the starting posture of Bajikwan. Lan Shuyin did not plan to use cursed tools, because Lan Shuyin actually had a little fantasy. That is to beat Hua Yu so that she can't take care of herself, and then transform her brain. But the premise is that Hua Yu can't find out and can't commit suicide. Lan Shuyin's body was like a rabbit, and he took a step and rushed forward with a punch that instantly hit Hua Yu's stomach. Although the speed was very fast, it was not as strong as the physical ability gained by using restraints. After all, using cursed power to enhance one's physical ability is really not as good as Tian's the physical abilities gained from Bound with Curse. His Bajikwan is fierce and powerful, and each blow contains tremendous power. He sometimes charges, sometimes spins, and his punches hit the flesh, showing the essence of Bajikwan. His attacks are as nimble as a light swallow and as powerful as a tiger. After Hua Yu took the first blow, she flexibly used the wood-type tree root ability, and her figure shuttled back and forth like a ghost. Lan Shuyin's spell reversal in action transformation transformed her body, making her smaller than before, and also making Hua Yu more agile, and this patitness does not affect her original body's resistance to blows. When Hua Yu responded to Lan Shuyin's moves flexibly, the roots also protruded from the ground under her control of the curse, and coiled around Lan Shuyin like a snake to form a seal. Cage, trying to trap Lan Shuyin. Lan Shuyin didn't even stop, this kind of thing couldn't stop him at all. He wanted to break through the closed loop formed by the tree roots with an iron mountain backrest. As fast as the wind. But just as Lan Shuyin approached, countless sharp spikes suddenly protruded from the wooden wall. Lan Shuyin's eyes were firm and sharp. He believed that with his special grade curse power, his boxing was definitely not a paper tiger. So he directly controlled the curse power to wrap his body, and continued to use the Iron Mountain backrest against the spikes. Bang! Lan Shuyin broke through the cage, but then his eyes widened. Because at this moment, a small red flower appeared on Hua Yu's shoulder. The small red flower had a large amount of curse power gathered on it, and it was aimed at him. As this to use the magical power of the flower offering field as a direct means of attack. Lan Shuyin understood Hua Yu's idea in an instant. How come Jujutsu Kaisen is a thing and he can only use binding? Ah, why does it feel like he is calling himself a thing? Forget it. This is obviously to directly use the field as a cursed energy cannon to fire out. To be able to do this, binding must have been used. If such a huge amount of cursed energy is hit, it is estimated that he will have to travel through it again. And it is obvious that Yu is using a closed loop to block his vision, so that he can use this cursed energy cannon to attack him the moment he rushes out. In fact, the moment Lan Shuyin saw Yu, the cursed energy cannon had already fired over. And because of inertia, Lan Shuyin was already very close to the contact of the firepower. But, Lan Shuyin suddenly widened his eyes, and the corners of his mouth were hooked with an extremely hideous smile. Nothing can stop my obsession with Cursed Spirit Lady. Lan Shuyin instantly pulled out the three-section staff Yuyun from the back of his hand. 
The copied cursed energy and the emotion of desire were transformed into positive energy through the mirror round and perfect match. And the three section staff Yuyun also turned into positive energy under the synchronization of positive energy. The superposition of positive energy and positive energy instantly exploded a terrifying positive energy cursed energy. The three section staff Yuyun took this huge positive energy to meet Wa Yu's cursed energy cannon. The white lightning leapt, they intertwined and forked to form a bunch of thunder bones that were about to bloom. Then, at the center of their attack, the air shattered like a mirror. This shattering was done together with the cursed energy cannon that Wa Yu blasted over. Treat Wa Yu's cursed energy cannon as a solid popsicle, and Lan Shuyan's attack as a physical attack, which directly breaks the popsicle into pieces, and it really breaks piece by piece. How is this possible? This is my full strength cursed attack. A cursed cannon that uses all of my own cursed power and the cursed power stored in advance by the flower offering. What's more, it's mixed with the positive energy left over from his transformation of my body. Wa Yu's whole spirit was in a bad state. She knew the upper limit of Lan Shuyan's strength, so she used all her strength in this attack. Even if she would be exorcised by Gojo Satoru in the end, at least it would not be a loss to take Lan Shuyan with her. As for Lan Shuyan, because he had overdrawn his magic power. So Lan Shuyan copied Wa Yu's mirror image again, but after copying, Lan Shuyan was a little dumbfounded, because the magic power was less than one-tenth of the original. The magic power of the mirror image copied is related to the current magic power of the person. Well, forget it. Just make do with it. Lan Shuyun put away Yuyun, and once again transferred the cursed energy to his whole body to enhance his physical abilities, still without using any restraints. Lan Shuyun is really an extreme person. He is also a very principled person. He wants to get Hana Yu, so he also wants to subdue Hana Yu with the same amount of cursed energy, or beat her until she can't think and can't disintegrate herself, and then directly use ritual reversal in action transformation, again to transform her brain. Bang! Lan Shuyun rushed out again and directly pressed down on Hana Yu's shoulders, who hadn't reacted yet. The force made the ground where they were sink. Lan Shuyun's eyes widened, he lowered his head, his face very close to Hana Yu's pretty face that already looked like a human. Ah, so beautiful. So, let me try and make you mine. Lan Shuyun's handsome face became very distorted at this time, or it should be said that he was eager and hideous. Yada, Wa Yu refused. She knew she would fail if she continued like this, so she raised her hand without hesitation to grab her head. The core of the cursed spirit has two. One is in the chest near the abdomen, and the other is in the brain. The core of the body is not too important, what is important is the core of the brain. This is just the author's guess. The settings of Akutami Gurgur are ridiculous. Sometimes it is said that the core is in the body. If the core of the body is destroyed, or the flesh is too severely damaged, then the cursed spirit will die, but Luhu will only have a head left and still be alive, and it can even recover. By the way, I have to say one more thing. Akutami Gurgur, come out and get stabbed. Don't even think about it. Lan Shuyan grabbed Wa Yu's arm and tore it off in an instant. Dark purple liquid sprayed out, and Wa Yu's other arm was stepped on by Lan Shuyan. Then Lan Shuyan half knelt on Wa Yu's stomach and punched Wa Yu's head with both fists. Then the speed of his punches became faster and faster. Puff, puff, the sound of flesh and blood exploding continued to ring. Wa Yu was beaten so hard that his body trembled. Only his head remained in place. The ground continued to sink because of Lan Shuyan's attack. Not good, my head, can't think. The technique, cannot be activated. Hanaguchi's consciousness became more and more blurred. This violent storm of punches made her unable to think. What made her even more incomprehensible was that even if she didn't have much cursed energy now, she could still activate the technique to kill herself, but she obviously couldn't activate the technique. To be precise, it should be that every time she activated the technique, it was immediately interrupted. I don't know how long it took. Hanaguchi really couldn't think. And Lan Shuyan obviously knew that he should stop, and he stopped attacking. But at this moment, Lan Shuyan actually held the Imajahoko in one hand, and it was pulled out of Lan Shuyan's hand during Lan Shuyan's high speed attack. Lan Shuyan wore glasses and could observe the flow of Hanaguchi's cursed energy. Every time Hanaguchi activated a technique, Lan Shuyan would stab her body. 
Ah, Lan Shuyan bent down and held the bloody face of Hua Yu with both hands. With messy hair and dull eyes, Hua Yu looked like he had just been beaten to death. It's so beautiful. No, no, I'm not a Yandere, I'm just a pervert who simply likes to curse the spirit lady. Lan Shuyan reacted, he was too excited just now. How could a grown man be a Yandere? So, Lan Shuyan put his palm on the top of Hua Yu's head. Reversal of the technique, inaction transformation. Lan Shuyan activated this again, and then used the positive energy of the curse to invade Hua Yu's brain and transform Hua Yu's hippocampus. That's right, Lan Shuyan wants to disrupt Hua Yu's memory. Although it seems exciting to keep Hua Yu's memory, after all, he is Hua Yu's enemy, but he has to be with Lan Shuyan, and it can even increase the excitement during love. How to say it? It's like she doesn't want to but can't resist, and Lan Shuyan is having a good time. Lan Shuyan still wants to try the kind of plot that exists in comics and anime. But, that seems a bit inhumane, so let's modify it a little bit. Who makes Hua Yu look good now? I, Lan Shuyan, I want to be the first person to a plant. Soon, Lan Shuyan retracted his palm, and Hua Yu's lifeless green eyes became bright, and his body was slowly recovering because Lan Shuyan's positive energy was taking effect. Lan Shuyan got up from Hua Yu's body and continued to squat beside her. He raised his hand and gently stroked Hua Yu's face, wiping off the dark purple liquid on her face. Tisk tisk. Hua Yu's face really looks better and better the more you look at it. Become my Shikigami. Lan Shuyan's voice was very gentle, and his expression looked like a sunny boy, completely different from the crazy one just now. Hum. Hua Yu's independent language appeared again, and her voice was still as royal as ever. Her memory was very confused now, and she just responded to Lan Shuyan's request instinctively. And the moment Hua Yu agreed, her soul was bound and she truly became Lan Shuyan's Shikigami. This made Lan Shuyan happily press his palm on Hua Yu's body, allowing her to enter the realm of life on the back of his hand. After all, she had just been beaten up, and her brain had just been transformed, so she was very weak now. Pa pa pa. At this moment, Gojo Satoru came over clapping his hands. He was obviously applauding Lan Shuyan. Not bad, you didn't use any restraints just now, but your use of cursed power, fighting techniques, and reaction to sudden situations are all very good. Gojo Satoru was sincerely praising Lan Shuyan. But Gojo Satoru really couldn't understand how Lan Shuyan, a newcomer who had just come into contact with the world of curses, could control cursed power in such a short time and come up with so many different ways to use his abilities. Is this talent? Well, actually, it should be better. If it wasn't for the purpose of subduing her, even if I didn't use the restraints and only use the cursed power to strengthen my body, as long as I use the soul release sword, I should be able to exorcise Hanamiya in five rounds. Lan Shuyan spread his hands and threw the Tenshoku back into the living domain on the back of his hand. In fact, now Lan Shuyan can already be ranked as a special grade. Because Lan Shuyan's lower limit is almost negligible, and the upper limit is really unlimited. The stronger the enemy, the stronger Lan Shuyan himself will be. Ala, Lan, congratulations, you have another female Shikigami. At this time, Qingshan Shuiji floated over and looked at Lan Shuyan with a smile. This made Lan Shuyan tilt his head. Although Qingshan Shuiji was smiling, why did he feel that her tone was a little resentful? Is she jealous? Although Lan Shuyan has never been in a relationship, he has read a lot of novels. He understands the plot where many childhood sweethearts can't resist the love that comes from heaven, and then they are jealous but don't express it, and in the end they are beaten by the male protagonist's friends or various greasy fat people. I will always have Miss Qingxin in my heart. But my heart has been broken into many pieces, and each piece is occupied by a cursed spirit lady. Lan Shuyan grinned. This made Gojo Satoru retreat quietly far away. Usually, something is wrong in this situation. Why, you? Qingxin Shuiji's expression revealed helplessness, but her eyes still revealed doting. She floated behind Lan Shuyan and hugged Lan Shuyan's neck. When I was still a human, my husband was allowed to have concubines, so I have no objection to it, and I will eat you sooner or later. Furthermore, collecting more curse spirits can also provide you with help in the future. Yozuki and Hanami just now, they are still like children, they have room to grow, you have to teach them how to use the positive energy you give them. 
positive energy attacks are more powerful than negative energy attacks. Ching Xuan Shuiji gently put her head close to Lan Xuyan's ear and whispered. This made Lan Xuyan stunned. So, this is the main wife supporting me to open a harem. Is it so outrageous? Gojo Satoru, who retreated, also had a face full of question marks, and even looked a little disappointed. Why is there no good show to watch in the Shira field? Teach them to use positive energy. Lan Xuyan frowned. He did feel the positive energy in Wa Yu's cursed energy cannon just now. Does this mean that his spell reversal in action transformation, positive energy can also allow cursed spirits to use it and cast it out? Could it be that the predecessors before also had the ability of spell reversal and in action transformation? After all, I injected the positive energy using the spell reversal in action transformation. Lan Shuyan asked Ching Xuan Shuiji doubtfully. No, it's because after becoming your ancestors Shikigami, they are bound to you. This mutual bond will allow your positive energy to be transferred to them, so that they can use positive energy to attack. Because of the cursed spirits, it is easy for them to reverse the spell. It's just that they don't know how to use this positive energy to attack, they can only heal themselves. Qingxin Shuiji explained to Lan Shuyan. This made Lan Shuyan stop then pulled Qingxin Shuiji's arm and let her float in front of him. Why do I feel like Miss Qingxin has been teaching me a lot of things intentionally or unintentionally recently? And you know so much, why didn't you tell me everything at the beginning? Lan Shuyin remembered that Qingzan Shuiji was very reluctant to teach him about her abilities at the beginning. Do you think I am willing? Every time you use an ability, you may be discovered by them. Besides, you are collecting the cursed spirits on your own. Haven't I told you about this now? Furthermore, after you got the bound, mirror flower and water moon, you played with it better than your predecessors. You bound it in all kinds of ways. Do you still need me to teach you? All you need now is to keep trying how to play with the bondage. Qingxin Shuiji gave Lan Shuyan a cold look. She had originally used it to teach the new generation of mirror flower water moon, holders just in case, but after Lan Shuyan got the initial bondage tips, he really let himself go like Wonkai. Hey hey, that, Miss Qingxin, I don't understand what you just said about teaching Shikigami to use positive energy to attack. Lan Shuyan suddenly smiled in a flattering way. Yes, 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 I will teach them. Qingxuan Shuiji's face was full of helplessness. She knew what Lan Shuyan wanted to say without Lan Shuyan saying anything. She was just talking casually about asking Lan Shuyan to teach her. But according to Ching Xuan Shuiji's current understanding of Lan Shuyan, he was the kind of person who used positive energy magic power based on his feelings. Without the mirror round and jade technique, Lan Shuyan would not be able to use it. So she had to teach herself. She looked at Lan Shuyan with a doting look, and then returned to the space of the realm of life. Lan Shuyan also frowned after Ching Xuan Shuiji returned to the realm of life. Will they find out? Lan Shuyan raised his hand and touched his chin. Who are they? Lan, hey, let's go back. At this time, Gojo Satoru had already hooked his arm around Yukichi's shoulders and called out to Lan Shuyan. So, what are you going to do next? In the car, it was the old tool man Aikichi Jigao who was driving again. Gojo Satoru was sitting in the passenger seat, Lan Shuyan and Kokichi were sitting in the back seat. The words just now were asked by Lan Shuyan and Kokichi. Just wait and see how the high-ranking sorcerers deal with me. This is the price I should pay. He responded to Lan Shuyan's words while looking at the scenery receding outside the car window. His tone was not so cold. After all, Lan Shuyan was also his benefactor. Don't worry about this. I haven't revealed it yet. Gojo Satoru who was sitting in the passenger seat, said nonchalantly. He kept pressing his phone, and no one knew what he was doing. But the revelation surprised Kokichi. His behavior was equivalent to betrayal, and normally he would be sentenced to death. But Gojo Satoru actually helped him keep it a secret. Don't be so surprised, after all, I am also a gentle and considerate teacher. I believe Aijichi won't tell anyone, right? Gojo Satoru said as Aijichi Jigao who was driving, shuddered all over and the car shook. Yes, yes, yes. I don't know anything. Yiji Chijigao responded tremblingly. After Hal Yanji Joshin revealed Lan Shuyan's ability last time, he was ridiculed by Gojo Satoru on the way here last night. 
Unfortunately, I didn't catch Sha Yuji this time. This guy is really as slippery as a loach. Lan Shuyan was a little helpless. Originally, he really thought that he would wait for Ghetto Shayu and then rely on Gojo Satoru to deal with him. It was for this purpose that he told Gojo Satoru. Otherwise, knowing that there were only Rohu and Hanami, he could deal with it alone. That's right, Lan Shuyan was a little unsure about Ghetto Shayu. When he first encountered Rohu, Lan Shuyan felt that he could control its fire gravel worm, but that was because this kind of insect similar to a fly head was not a Shikigami, but a cursed spirit that Rohu raised with his own cursed power, not a Shikigami. And Ghetto Shayu's was a little different. His Shikigami were all absorbed and swallowed into his body by his technique. After Lan Shuyan copied the mirror image, he didn't know whether he had the same ability, or whether he could control the cursed spirits absorbed by Ghetto Shayu. This is an uncertain factor. There is still a difference between special grade and special grade. Just like Ghetto Shayu can easily deal with Rohu and others, and Ghetto Shayu can also be easily dealt with by Gojo Satoru. Oh, right, speaking of which, teacher. What level of sorcerer am I now? Lan Shuyan remembered that all students who entered the sorcery high school had student ID cards and were also given a level assessment, but he was the only one who did not receive a student ID card or a level assessment. Ah, that one. I didn't report your ability at first, and your status is similar to that of an exchange student. So the student ID and grade assessment were not issued. But, here, Gojo Satoru said, pulling out a card that looked about the same size as his ID card from his pocket and throwing it back. Lan Shuyan stretched out his hand and grabbed it, then looked at it. On it was Lan Shuyan's student information, and there was a, special, character on his profile picture. Oh, a special grade sorcerer. Lan Shuyan grinned. Wouldn't he be the fifth special grade one? Your ability has been known by the higher ups, and I had a good talk with them before doing what I did today, so you have become the fifth special grade sorcerer in the world of sorcery. Gojo Satoru put away his phone, turned his head and smiled. According to Gojo Satoru's own understanding, although Lan Shuyan no longer has a lower limit, his ability is sufficient. His upper limit is that the stronger the enemy, the stronger Lan Shuyan. Of course, in Gojo Satoru's eyes, Lan Shuyan is still no match for him. Using the premise that the two are enemies to make an analogy, Gojo Satoru believes that even if Lan Shuyan can copy his cursed power and spells, Lan Shuyan's physical talent, six eyes, cannot be copied. And spells without lower limits need to be coordinated with the six eyes to exert their greatest power. This is where Gojo Satoru's strength lies. With the cooperation of the Six Eyes, the amount of cursed power consumed by Gojo Satoru's spells is ridiculously low. It's like Gojo Satoru can use the least amount of cursed power to launch a powerful attack that can kill you in seconds. With Kokichi-san, never make the wrong choice again. That girl is indeed a good girl, cherish her. Gojo Satoru looked at Yukichi again. When Yukichi used the mechanical pill to reveal the truth, he also included the reason why he teamed up with Shayu Jia and others. Now Lan Shuyan has met his needs, so he can use his original body to stand in front of the useless three wheels. I see, thank you, Gojo Sensei. Although they were from different high schools, Kokichi and I still called him teacher. At the same time, Kokichi and I looked at Lan Shuyan who was standing beside us. Thank you too, Lan Shuyan. Although Shinji's tone was still cold, it was very sincere. Lan Shuyan waved his hand. Then he put his student ID back in his pocket. Now he just wanted to get back to the Jujutsu High School as soon as possible, and then release Wayu to take a closer look. Lan Shuyan was really about to be suffocated. There were two Shikigami around him. But one was poisonous and thorny, and the other was cold. I hope Wayu can be used. Otherwise it will be really uncomfortable. Back to the high school. Lan Shuyan got off the car first, and Gojo Satoru followed and asked Ichichiji Gao, a tool man, to take them to Kyoto High School. Because the Kyoto Sister Exchange meeting has been decided not to be held. It seems that Gojo Satoru wants to go there in person to give instructions. Watching the taillights of the car disappear into the darkness, Lan Shuyan took out his mobile phone to check the time. It was already 8 o'clock in the evening. Then, Lan Shuyan turned around and ran, running to his dormitory room in the technical high school. He couldn't wait to let Hanami out to see. However, when he returned to the dormitory, 
Lan Shuyan found that there were no lights on in the rooms of Fushiguro Megumi, Itadori Yuji, and Kugasaki Nobara. Did they go out? Forget it. Never mind. Lan Shuyan took out the key and opened the door of his room, then turned on the light. It took several hours to get back by car. Wa Yu should have recovered by now, right? Wa Yu. Lan Shuyan shouted, and a green light emerged from the back of his hand. Then Lan Shuyan was stunned for a moment. Because Wa Yu's appearance had changed again. Although she was almost the same as before, she seemed to be taller. She tilted her head like that, and her blue eyes kept looking at Lan Shuyan. Lan Shuyan could see that there seemed to be hatred towards him in Wa Yu's eyes, but she probably didn't understand why. This made Lan Shuyan grin. He started to check Wa Yu up and down. Wa Yu was somewhat resistant to Lan Shuyan's actions. She herself didn't know why. Lan Shuyan was studying the clothes on Wa Yu. Rather than clothes, they looked more like they grew on Wa Yu's body, and the material of the clothes also had a feeling of plant life. The touch felt like touching the surface of a leaf. Come to think of it, Wa Yu was a plant spirit, and the clothes on her body must be similar, and they should have been covered and generated with her own cursed power. Wa Yu, is there any way to withdraw it? Lan Shuyan was helpless and could only look at Wa Yu. Quote, comma, comma, quote. Wa Yu seemed to be resisting Lan Shuyan instinctively. Her whole body was shaking, but the clothes wrapped around her body turned into black magic power and disappeared, because her instinctive thought was that she could not disobey Lan Shuyan's orders. Oh, it's really cursed power. Lan Shuyan has always been puzzled. That is, the cursed spirits in the anime are also wearing clothes, but ordinary people generally can't see them. The clothes can't be invisible, right? If the clothes are not blessed with special characteristics, then the clothes themselves are cursed power, so there is a reasonable explanation for ordinary people not seeing them. However, soon, Lan Shuyan was attracted by Wa Yu's current body. How should I describe Wa Yu's skin? Very pale, but not the paleness of her original appearance. Instead, there is a hint of blood color, like that kind of sickly white. And then there is Wa Yu's current body shape. Although she has lost a lot of weight, she is really very well proportioned, just like a girl who works out regularly. Her figure and lines are very perfect, and her height is really taller than before she was tamed, and her appearance has also grown a little. Wa Yu has a faintly visible vest line, which looks beautiful and not exaggerated. Excited heart, trembling hands, expectant eyes. Hum, not bad. Lan Shuyan continued to look down. There was a pair of black flat shoes on her feet, but the material seemed to be formed by plants. With a grin, Lan Shuyan pulled Wa Yu and let her sit on the chair. Then he reached out and took off the shoes on Wa Yu's feet. Lan Shuyan held Wa Yu's feet. They looked very small, almost the same as human feet, and there was not much difference. If there was a difference, it should be that they were exaggeratedly white. Wa Yu's feet were held by Lan Shuyan, and her toes were curled up. She seemed to resist being held, but she couldn't shrink back to avoid being touched. Lan Shuyan held them and didn't feel any peculiar smell. Instead, there was a plant fragrance. This was probably because Wa Yu's physique was extremely close to that of plants themselves. Hey, it's good, she looks good too, but I feel like she has no temperature, and there are a few flaws. Cursed spirits don't seem to have body temperature. Wa Yu's green eyes kept watching Lan Shuyan's movements. Lan Shuyan could feel Wa Yu's body stiffening. She seemed to know what would happen next, and she was resisting instinctively. But she still knew why she resisted. She only knew that she was Lan Shuyan's thing, but she hated Lan Shuyan very much. This emotion was very complicated. Wa Yu was different from Di Yu. Di Yu had just been formed not long ago, and her wisdom was limited, but Wa Yu was different. She was similar to an elf, and her wisdom was also very strong. As if she felt Wa Yu's sight, Lan Shuyan looked up. Although her green eyes were still looking at Lan Shuyan, there was a trace of blur, and there was really a feeling of pity. She seemed to be worried, uneasy. Uneasy, just like a real human girl. Quote, quote, e -m 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 -m. I can't bear it anymore. So, Lan Shuyan rushed over directly. The bright moonlight shines through the window in the clear night. The bright light flows like a clear stream. The clear insects are playing in the wind, and the words are self-sighing and self-resting. Two hours later, Lan Shuyan was lying on the ground, and he turned his head to look at Wa Yu who was also lying on the ground. 
Her reflective white body was all messy, so Lan Shuyan got up and took Hua Yu directly to the bathroom. Originally, there was no bathroom in the room, but Lan Shuyan used his money to get one for himself and Yuji Itadori. Wash Hua Yu clean. After carrying Hua Yu out, he found a towel and carefully wiped off the water stains on Hua Yu's body. You will be mine from now on. Lan Shuyan grinned and hugged Hua Yu directly, resting her forehead against Hua Yu's forehead. But Hua Yu just looked at her like that. She didn't open her mouth during the whole process, but the light music score was directly transmitted to Lan Shuyan's mind. Anyway, will there be children? Lan Shuyan began to think. No, because she doesn't have that kind of physique. Just as Lan Shuyan was muttering to himself, Ching Xuan Shuiji's voice echoed in the room. This made Lan Shuyan suddenly stunned. Well, Miss Qingxin, do you know what happened outside? Lan Shuyan raised his hand, looked at the back of his hand, and asked Qingxin Shuiji in confusion. Well, I was watching the whole thing. It's really good. Qingxuan Shuiji's tone was full of ridicule. She really watched the whole process. As for Diu, she didn't understand the whole process, but she was just curious. So she watched it with Qingxuan Shuiji, and watched it in the fog and flowers of the realm of life. Not all cursed spirits have the ability to become concubines. Not all human women can collect the cursed power of the cursed spirit in their belly to form a cursed fetus. Qingxin Shuiji was not angry, it didn't matter. Anyway, the first wife was hers, and she would also eat Lan Shuyan. Lan Shuyan was silent. How should he respond to Qingxuan Shuiji's words? Should we say that she is worthy of being the first wife? She is really careless. But what Qingxuan Shuiji said is not wrong. It is estimated that Qingxuan Shuiji is the only cursed spirit with that physique, and there are probably not many humans. Moreover, Lan Shuyan guessed that even if someone could really give birth to a child with cursed spirit and human blood, it would probably be a cursed spirit in a state similar to that of incarnation. It is like putting the cursed fetus of the nine phases diagram into the human body, giving the flesh a form that ordinary people can see, such as blood-stained, broken, and bloated. It's just that it is essentially born like that. Well, if it really exists, it probably wouldn't be that easy to survive in the real world. Whether it is the human world, the cursed spirit world, or the cursed world, they should not be accepted. Lan Shuyan murmured to himself. Then he hugged Hua Yu and fell asleep. But as soon as he closed his eyes, Lan Shuyan felt Hua Yu hugging him tightly and burying his head in his chest. Lan Shuyan didn't think too much and began to sleep soundly. Chapter 71 The next day, Lan Shuyan woke up refreshed and put on his glasses. Then he looked around him, Hua Yu was gone, and was standing beside Lan Shuyan's bed, dressed neatly again. Hua Yu's green eyes were still looking at Lan Shuyan. Lan Shuyan smiled. Two hours last night. Lan Shuyan was active in the first half hour, and passive in the next hour and a half. Lan Shuyan looked at the ground, and there was no residue left. But there was still a fragrance of plant scent in the room. Lan Shuyan had actually discovered this last night, everything on Hua Yu's body had that kind of fragrance, and this fragrance really looked like the fragrance you smell when you enter the flowers in nature. Good morning, Miss Hua Yu. Lan Shuyan greeted Hua Yu. Good morning, Master. Hua Yu's white lips were still not open, and the voice was still echoing in Lan Shuyan's mind. I don't know if it was an illusion, but this time when I looked into Hua Yu's eyes, I found that there seemed to be no hatred in her eyes. Was she convinced by him? Lan Shuyan felt very strange. And Lan Shuyan also found that Hua Yu's eyes were staring at the place where he would raise the flag in the morning from time to time. This made Lan Shuyan smile crookedly. Hua Yu, do you want to rinse your mouth? Yes, you have to wash up in the morning, brush your teeth and wash your face. But before he could do anything, there was a knock on Lan Shuyan's door. This made Lan Shuyan's mouth twitch. So early in the morning. Ah. Lan Shuyan looked at the sunlight outside, and it didn't seem very early. So he could only put on his clothes and open the door. It was Gojo Satoru outside, who was looking at him with one hand in his pocket. But soon Gojo Satoru reached out and touched his nose. The fragrance of plants, there is no air conditioning for Miss Qingxin this morning. Gojo Satoru looked inside and saw only Hanami standing upright. So, what's the matter, teacher? Lan Shuyan pressed Gojo Satoru's face away. Under normal circumstances, Gojo Satoru's infinity would not exist. 
When we went to meet Yukichi, a mission came here. But after one night, there was no contact and the phone was unreachable. So I want you to go and see what's going on. Gojo Satoru explained the purpose of his coming here. This reminded Lan Shuyan that when he came back last night, he did see that Yuji Itadori and the others were indeed not there. It turned out that they were out on a mission. That's not right. If that was the case, you should have gone to find them a long time ago, right? According to Lan Shuyan's recent understanding of Gojo Satoru, if he really couldn't get in touch with him, would Gojo Satoru really wait until now? He would definitely go to the mission location of Itadori Yuji and the others to check the situation first. I just got the intelligence information. And I thought I'd take you with me. With your ability, you can try to collect more spells. In fact, when Gojo Satoru took off Rohu's head, it was not only to satisfy Lan Shuyan's NTR declaration, but also to let Lan Shuyan kill Rohu with his water moon. The spells of a sorcerer are innate and cannot be changed. All abilities are extended from the sorcerer's own spells, but all methods are inseparable. But Lan Shuyan is different. He can obtain other people's spells and use positive energy to activate the spells. So if you encounter some interesting spells, maybe you can let Lan Shuyan kill. Anyway, Lan Shuyan is long enough, 18 centimeters is enough. I am not interested in other techniques. The only technique that interests me is the real person's, Wu Wei transformation. If I have to say something more, it should be Ryuman Sukuna's, Zan. And you're infinite, Lan Shuyan unexpectedly did not yawn today. He used to wake up from the cold when he hugged Qingxin Shuiji, but he did not yawn when he hugged Hua Yu. Lan Shuyan even felt that the smell of Hua Yu had a calming effect. Don't even think about the teachers, Infinity, or Sukuna's, kill. Okay, hurry up and pack up, and come with me to see what's going on. Gojo Satoru said, and then he turned around, leaned against the wall in the corridor, and took out his phone to check something. Lan Shuyan didn't have any opinions, and went back to the bathroom in the room to brush his teeth and wash his face. Then it was the tool man Ichichiji who picked him up. In the car, Lan Shuyan was thinking, while Yu sat obediently beside Lan Shuyan, or leaned against the car door, with her legs across Lan Shuyan's thighs, and Lan Shuyan was playing with her little feet. The flesh was soft and comfortable, and there was a fresh fragrance. It can't be the plot of the finger curse, right? Lan. Shuyin was thinking of the plot of Hachiho Bridge. But it should be. The plot of blood and bad appearance is in October, and it's only the end of September now. Wait, Lan Shuyin suddenly realized that he had changed a lot of the plot, so it was normal for the plot to be advanced and changed. The incident with Kokichi was on, but it was also resolved in advance. So it is really possible that it was the incident at Hachiho Bridge. After all, there is also a finger of Sukuna there. It's just that in terms of strength, the current strength of Nobara Kugasaki, Yuji Itadori, and Megumi Fushiguro is enough to deal with it. But why did they know news? I don't know how long it took, just when Lan Shuyan was thinking, the car stopped. Gojo Satoru got out of the car directly. Lan Shuyan also put Hanami's black flat shoes back on her little feet, then raised his palm, and Hanami returned directly to the back of Lan Shuyan's hand. Got out of the car. Lan Shuyan saw a girl with short yellow hair in a suit talking to Gojo Satoru. Nita Akira, assistant supervisor of Tokyo Metropolitan Jutsu High School. Now taking over Aijichi Jiagao's job, providing students with a certain degree of instructions on task guidelines. Cheerful and gentle personality, good at taking care of other people's feelings. It seems to be the Hachiho Bridge incident. Lan Shuyan looked around. This place is on a bridge. Although Lan Shuyan couldn't tell whether it was Hachiho Bridge, he knew it must be Hachiho Bridge from the front, because the canyon under the bridge was really weird. Dead branches, strangely colored soil, there was a chilly feeling. Looking at Gojo Satoru, he found that they were still communicating, probably explaining in detail, which made Lan Shuyan think about it, and he turned over and jumped down. Ah, suddenly, as soon as he turned over, Lan Shuyan suddenly remembered that although his physical fitness was good now, he was still an ordinary person. Will he get hurt if he goes down at this height? I have been using restraints to strengthen my body before, and now I habitually think that my body is very strong. But, it's too late to react now, he is already falling. Lan Shuyan hurriedly pulled out the Wangli lock from the back of his hand and threw it out, 
wrapping one end around the fence of the bridge, then adjusted his body and used the Wangli lock to cushion the impact, finally landing safely on the ground. Looking around, the environment was exactly the same as what he saw in the anime. There was a small stream flowing between the gravel. Lan, why did you jump down? Just as Lan Shuyin was observing, Gojo Satoru's voice came over. Gojo Satoru also came down. So, what is the situation now? Lan Shuyin looked at Gojo Satoru and asked him. How should I put it? According to what Ms. Akira Nita said, she checked the surveillance and found that the last place where Wei and the others appeared was here. If I remember correctly, Hui's sister also had an accident here. Gojo Satoru knows a lot about Fushiguro Megumi. So he also knows the situation here. There should be a barrier here, but it seems to be nothingness, not in the same plane. It's a bit like a cursed domain. It seems that you need to meet certain conditions to enter, and there are indeed remnants of the cursed power of Wei and others nearby. Gojo Satoru took off his blindfold, and his six blue eyes looked around, and finally landed on a certain position. His six eyes could see, but he had no way to break it by force. Because he didn't know what would happen after the cursed domain that bound him was broken by force, not to mention that his students might be inside. We have to wait until night. At this time, Lan Shuyin spoke. He took out his mobile phone to check the time. It was actually one o'clock in the afternoon when he came here. Now it is only three o'clock. There is still some time before sunset. Oh, Gojo Satoru was very interested, because he saw that Lan Shuyin seemed to know something, but this also made Gojo Satoru even more confused. Lan Shuyin had not listened to Nita Akira's explanation just now. And Lan Shuyin didn't know the mission of Fushiguro Megumi and the others this time. As you said, this is a bound, cursed, and natural domain. Just like the juvenile detention center at that time, the cursed fetus was born into a self-satisfied realm, but the realm of the juvenile detention center can be entered at will, while this one requires entry conditions. Lan Shuyin didn't know how to explain that he knew it, so he just skipped it. Instead, he told the information he knew. Gojo Satoru nodded and didn't ask any more questions. Anyway, Lan Shuyin had no bad intentions, and people also have their own secrets, so as a student who understands him, Gojo Satoru didn't say anything. The next step is to wait. Gojo Satoru was stroking his chin and looking at Lan Shuyin at this time. The recliner formed by Hana Yu's technique, with Yatsuki's soft body as a pillow. And Lan Shuyin, lying on the recliner, holding Yatsuki's bouncy body in one hand, playing with Hana Yu's outstretched feet with the other hand, eating the iced watermelon prepared for him by Qingxin Shuiji, the kind that was frozen, and it made a crackling sound when you bit it, and it felt like your teeth would break. Gojo Satoru looked at the iced watermelon in his hand. He reached out and knocked on it. It was hard. Why is Lan Shuyin like this? Can you eat it and enjoy it? Time passed by little by little. The setting sun was like blood, gradually sinking to the west. Night fell, and the bright moon rose slowly. The whole canyon was shrouded in a mysterious and weird atmosphere, as if entering a world isolated from the world. Those trees that seemed to have a little vitality during the day now seemed to be withered and dying. Their twisted branches were like the bodies of demons in the dark, stretching towards the sky with their fangs and claws, looking hideous and terrifying. Look at the ground under your feet, it is covered with stones of various shapes and sizes. The color of these stones is also very strange. Some are light red, as silent as death, and some are flickering faintly under the moonlight, giving people a gloomy feeling. Here, it seems to be telling some unknown secrets or curses. It should be about time. Lan Shuyin took out his phone and checked the time, then let go of Hua Yu's feet. Hua Yu's face was flushed at this time, and you could vaguely see a lot of plant juice-like things covering the inside of her thighs, emitting a refreshing fragrance. This made Lan Shuyin scratch his head. No way, will playing with feet be like this? So Lan Shuyin could only put Hua Yu back into the back of his hand, and Di Yu simply refused to go back, with her tentacles wrapped around Lan Shuyin's body, and she just leaned in Lan Shuyin's arms. Cheng Zan Shui Ji had no intention of going back either, but just stood beside Lan Shuyin with a gentle smile. Then, Lan, it's up to you. Gojo Satoru also stood up and followed Lan Shuyin to the stream. Order is important. The entry conditions for this field are. At night, under the bridge, 
The act of jumping over rivers and borders to reach the other side has an important meaning in magic. This is the condition for entering that realm. Lan Shuyan looked across the stream, which was just a scene similar to theirs. Oh, Gojo Satoru thought for a moment. Wong Kwan. That's probably it. The stream is the yellow spring, and crossing the yellow spring is the other shore, and the other shore is death. Lan Shuyan grinned. Then he raised his foot and stepped over the stream, and Gojo Satoru did the same. As soon as they crossed over, they saw that everything around them was changing in an instant. Oh, it really is the birth domain of the cursed spirit. Gojo Satoru looked around. The expansion of the domain and the birth domain are different. The expansion of the domain is the ultimate skill of a technique, while the birth domain is the domain that exists after the transformation of the cursed fetus, similar to the birthplace. Basically, those who are special from birth are born in this way. Whether it is the cursed fetus in the juvenile detention center or the cursed fetus here, they all choose to stay in their birth domain after they are born, because in this place they can grow to the greatest extent and ensure the greatest degree of safety. Especially now that the birth domain requires special conditions to enter, it is even more difficult to be discovered and invaded. A Wu, Dianyu and Lan Shuyan's arms suddenly howled at a certain place, which made Lan Shuyan full of questions. Why is a jellyfish like you howling? However, Lan Shuyan still looked in the direction Dianyu was facing. A cursed spirit also emerged from a hole in the dome of the original domain. It was exactly the same cursed spirit as the one in the juvenile detention center. It's really strange. There are obviously remnants of Hui's cursed power outside, but I can't feel their presence inside. Gojo Satoru ignored the cursed spirit and walked around in the area on his own. Lan Shuyan grinned for a moment, revealing a very hentai smile. Special grade curse spirits are rare, so what kind of curse spirit mother can you become? Lan Shuyan tilted his head, widened his eyes, and the moment he raised his hand, the same curse power as the curse spirit covered Lan Shuyan's body. In fact, after Lan Shuyan obtained the transformation of inaction, he could only use the ritual reversal, composed of positive energy to transform his soul, while the real person used the ritual forward, composed of negative energy. For curses that have not been incarnated, the positive energy of the ritual reversal is highly toxic. So when Lan Shuyan used the ritual reversal transformation of inaction, on those weak cursed spirits at the Kyoto sisters exchange meeting, their cursed spirit forms could not withstand it, so their bodies exploded. Yatsuki should not have succeeded, but because she was already Lan Shuyan's Shikigami, her soul and Lan Shuyan's soul were bound together, so she was able to adapt to the transformation of positive energy. Hua Yu is more like an elf. She can use the flower offering arm to reverse the life of plants into negative energy cursed power. In addition, her own cursed body is very resistant, so she can also succeed. So, Lan Shuyan already knows very well that if you want to perform the ritual reversal transformation of inaction, on the curse and turn it into a cursed spirit girl, it is estimated that only cursed spirits between quasi first level and special level can withstand it. Let's not talk about first level cursed spirits, but there are really few special level ones. Lan, you are welcome, I will look around. Gojo Satoru waved his hand at Lan Shuyan. He knew that Lan Shuyan's habit had recurred. Okay, Lan Shuyan began to emit magical power. This was because the mirror flower had been activated. But this time, Lan Shuyan wanted to try some new restraints. The, they, mentioned by Qingshan Shuiji made Lan Shuyan a little worried, so Lan Shuyan continued to experiment with some of the restraints he had in mind from the beginning. The special grade cursed spirit in front of him, with the condition of, this area as the range to limit the distance of the copy image, is bound into, limited physical ability, and the effect lasts for half an hour. Lan Shuyan muttered to himself, and the binding was established immediately. The special grade spirit in front of him is a bit weak, and the curse power is not as good as Hanamiya, but it has Sukuna's bone chicken claw, so it is not like the last, free range of action, but, limited range of action. The equivalent binding makes his physical ability stronger than before. Then, next, Lan Shuyan released the mirror flower. Sure enough, the, time, bondage will still exist even if I remove the, mirror flower, because the, all spell power and mirror technique costs of the mirror image have been paid, and my body is equivalent to getting this bondage for free. So, Lan Shuyan activated the, mirror flower, 
again, and once again obtained the mirror spell power and mirror technique of the finger curse spirit in front of him. Continue to time bind all the mirror spell power and mirror technique in exchange for half an hour of physical ability. That's right, Lan Shuyin is trying to see if he can stack buffs. He is trying to see if the physical abilities of two time limits can be stacked to enhance his physical abilities. If possible, with infinite stacking of buffs, Lan Shuyin feels that he can blow up Ryoman Sukuna with one punch. Um, the bondage failed, and the power and spell of the mirror image disappeared. Is this a punishment for playing with the restraints? Lan Shuyin was stunned for a moment. Grinning, Lan Shuyin once again made a mirror copy of the mirror flower. This time, Lan Shuyin wanted to try another kind of restraint. There is no limit on the scope or time. According to the normal equivalent exchange, the mirror spell power and mirror technique are bound to obtain physical abilities. This time, Lan Shuyin used the spell power and technique to exchange for physical abilities as before. This time, Lan Shuyin found that it was successful. He could feel that his body's ability was stronger. This made Lan Shuyin think, is it true that the same time constraint can only be exchanged for one kind? And different constraints can be exchanged for improvement. To be honest, Lan Shuyin is not afraid of the cost of the constraint at all, because the price is always paid by the mirror image obtained by the mirror flower. This is what Lan Shuyin himself understands, so he dares to keep trying. Ha 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 ha, then keep trying. Lan Shuyin widened his eyes and grinned like a very hentai. And in his arms, Dndu looked at Lan Shuyin's excitement, and suddenly thought of one night when her master showed this expression and stretched out his sinful middle finger to her, and then she felt uncomfortable and pricked her middle finger. So, Dndu quickly loosened the tentacles wrapped around Lan Shuyin's waist, and ran to where Qingxin Shuiji was. Several tentacles climbed up Qingxin Shuiji's back, and her arms hugged Qingxin Shuiji's neck, and she looked at Lan Shuyin's back with her little head. Qingxin Shuiji covered her forehead with her hands. Her eyes could see that Lan Shuyin had failed to use the mirror binding once, and the mirror was also deprived. This guy, oh my god, how come he is better at playing with bondage than anyone else, and he really isn't afraid of anything? How confident is this? Qingxin Shuiji was really helpless. But she showed a very gentle smile, and she looked at Lan Shuyin's back with watery eyes. You have heard it, right? They will notice you, and Lan Shuyin here. He did not stop his experiment. The cursed spirit did not dare to move, because Lan Shuyin at this moment made it feel threatened. It did not pay attention to Gojo Satoru, because in its feeling, Gojo Satoru was not strong. The three major illusions of the cursed spirit. I can win, I am strong, and humans are weak. Then, we should try something else next. Lan Shuyin released the second restraint. Since it was not a time restraint, he could only release it and trigger the mirror flower. The moment he released it, the physical enhancement he felt disappeared, and only the time restraint remained. Mirror flower. Lan Shuyin once again cast mirror flower on the finger curse spirit. This time he wanted to try a new time constraint. Use the magic power and spell of the special grade curse spirit in front of you as a condition, and bind them all into limited five senses, and the effect will last for half an hour. Lan Shuyin muttered to himself. This time, the binding was successful. Lan Shuyin suddenly felt that his five senses had become stronger. Vision, hearing, smell, taste, and touch were all greatly enhanced, and this enhancement made Lan Shuyin feel uncomfortable. Ha 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 ha, sure enough, sure enough, there is not only one constraint of a characteristic. The physical enhancement of the time constraint does not conflict with the enhancement of the five senses of the time constraint. Then, next, Lan Shuyin once again released the mirror flower, or rather released the mirror flower that had been bound, and had taken back the spell power and technique, and once again stared at the trembling finger curse spirit in front of him. Mirror flowers, again, start, this time, Lan Shuyin did not try any time constraints again. Because Lan Shuyin already understood how to use different time constraints to stack abilities. This time, what Lan Shuyin wanted to try was the most important. Bind the mirror spell power and mirror technique obtained by copying in exchange for the spell power that can remain in my body forever. That's right, this is what Lan Shuyin wants most. Without hostility, 
Lan Shuyin has no way to obtain the ability of mirror copy, so Lan Shuyin wants to try to see if he can turn the mirror's spell power into the spell power that always exists in his body. If possible, then, he he he, Lan Shuyin decided to stay here for a few days. But Lan Shuyin also knew that the effect was estimated to be not great. According to Lan Shuyin's guess, it should not be equivalent enough. Just as Lan Shuyin thought, because Lan Shuyin suddenly felt that the spell power and technique obtained by the mirror flower completely disappeared because of the inequality the binding did not hold. It seems that if what I thought was true, the price to pay for going from a body without any magical power to a body with magical power is very high. Well, but it doesn't matter. It would be best if I had the power of curse, but not having it also has its advantages, at least the area with the guaranteed effect would not pose a threat to me. But it's hard to say about the fields of Sukuna and Ghetto Suguru. Never mind, if I encounter it, I will have a way. Lan Shuyin gave up the idea of gaining magical power in his body. Now, let's test the capabilities of this body. What I can see is the same as what Fushiguro Shiori and Zenin Maki can see in the later part of the comics. Lan Shuyin raised his hand slightly and opened his palm as if he wanted to hold something. The next second, Lan Shuyin actually lifted his body into the air with the strength of his arms alone, even though he didn't jump. In the eyes of others, it was as if Lan Shuyin grabbed a single pole that others couldn't see and lifted himself up. The next second, Lan Shuyin's palm loosened again, and the moment his body fell down, his legs and feet actually stepped on the air and shot out instantly. The sonic boom could be seen with the naked eye, or it could be said that it was because of the sound waves of Lan Shuyin's feet exploding when he stepped on the air. The real heaven and tyrant is the existence that can grab the air with his hands and step on the air as a fulcrum. It's just that Lan Shuyin couldn't do it before, because the benefit he gained from using the restraints was to strengthen his physical ability, and his five senses were not improved. Now he also uses the restraints to obtain the five senses, so now he can also see the different layers of the world like, Heaven and Tyrant Kirin. Come on, open your imaginations to the author, and let me see what kind of restraints you can let the protagonist develop. The author can use them if they are reasonable and equivalent. At this time, the finger curse spirit was dumbfounded. Because it could not catch Lan Shuyin's figure at all. When it reacted, it found that its vision was instantly reversed, and then it fell into darkness. The cursed spirit that reacted clearly realized that its entire soul had been stabbed into the ground by Lan Shuyin like an onion. Although the born field is slightly different from the field expansion, they both have the same guaranteed effect. But I still have zero spell power, so it still has no effect on me. And with visual control, your eyes can't catch up with my speed. So let's talk. Lan Shuyin grabbed the ankle of the finger curse spirit and pulled it out of the ground. Like Wa Yu, this curse spirit also needs to be tamed. And Lan Shuyin doesn't want a random reversal of the spell, in action transformation, he wants to transform this curse spirit into the appearance he wants. But, obviously, this curse spirit is not very smart, he directly abandoned his calf held by Lan Shuyin, the whole spirit and Lan Shuyin pulled away and then condensed a golden curse power bullet with both hands, and then pulled it away like a slingshot. But it just aimed at the position where Lan Shuyin was just now, but only saw the calf that it had abandoned falling to the ground in the air. Then, it felt that its vision was upside down again, and then it fell into darkness again. That's right, it was planted upside down by Lan Shuyin again. Talk, Lan Shuyin pulled it out again, this time grabbing its trouser pocket, and Lan Shuyin still squatted to talk to it. But this time the cursed spirit directly abandoned its trouser pocket, and its body distanced itself from Lan Shuyin again. Veins popped out on both sides of its forehead, and as it swung its hands, the golden cursed bullet had been thrown towards Lan Shuyin's position. Lan Shuyin sighed, he casually raised his hand and slapped the golden cursed bullet away like slapping a fly. E.H. The finger cursed force opened its mouth directly, and the tail sound of this, ah, was drawn out very long, because it did not expect that its cursed force bullet would be so easily knocked away by the human in front of it. Ha, huh, this, the power is actually pretty good. I just used positive energy to attach it to my palm. If it hits an ordinary sorcerer, the power should be enough to make him lose his ability to move. After Lan Shuyin finished speaking, his body disappeared again in an instant. After that, 
the finger cur spirit felt its vision flipped again, and then fell into darkness again. There is no doubt that it was stabbed into the ground by Lan Shuyun again. At this moment, the finger cur spirit had a lot of NMP to say. This is too humiliating. The instinct of the cur spirit is to live, and then absorb all kinds of negative emotions of human beings to enhance its strength, and it is still unwilling to give up. But Lan Shuyun didn't care whether it gave up or not, and directly grabbed the other ankle of the finger cur spirit again and pulled it out again, and then suddenly threw it to the other side of the field. Immediately afterwards, Lan Shuyun's figure disappeared from the spot, and he went straight to the position where the finger cur spirit would pass in advance. Once again, he slapped the finger cur spirit on the cheek with a quick hand and eyes, and knocked it back to the position where Lan Shuyun had just stood. That's it. Lan Shuyun was like a person alone. Move back and forth like playing badminton. Lan Shuyun's palm is the badminton racket, and the finger cur spirit's cheek is the badminton. It was hit back and forth like badminton. Ten minutes later, Lan Shuyun finally stopped. Because the finger cur spirit was not hit anymore, its entire body smashed to the edge of the field, and its body burst into dark green blood, and then fell to the ground. Its head at this time, or to be more precise, its entire cheek, was three times bigger, as funny as a bulging toad. It struggled to stand up, swaying from side to side, as if it had drunk three pounds of fake wine and couldn't tell east from west. The wounds on its body also began to heal under the effect of the curse. When it was almost time, it shook its head and found that it was facing the edge of the field. It hurriedly turned back to find Lan Shuyun's position, and then stepped out directly, rushing towards Lan Shuyun quickly. Seeing the finger curse spirit rushing towards him again, Lan Shuyun sighed helplessly. He raised his hand to reveal the back of his hand, and the handle of the soul release knife appeared. It seems that the training is not enough. Cut off its limbs, and then I will sit aside. I will cut off its limbs as it regenerates, and I will just watch it run out of its curse power quietly. Lan Shuyun muttered to himself. But just when Lan Shuyun grasped the handle of the soul release sword and was about to pull it out, the finger curse spirit that rushed towards him suddenly jumped forward, turned over, curled up its legs together, opened its arms and fell down, and then slid its knees on the ground all the way to Lan Shuyun's feet. Then its head touched the bottom, its hands pressed against the ground, and it slid and knelt to Lan Shuyun in one go. Lan Shuyun was full of question marks. Oh my god. This finger curse spirit also knows this. Is it okay to slide and kneel to beg for mercy? This accepts the difference in strength, and the curse spirit's instinct to live directly makes it choose to beg for mercy. I thought you wanted to continue to be trained by me. So, can we talk now? Lan Shuyun still pulled out the soul release knife, and then inserted it next to the finger curse spirit's head, squatting down and asking it with a smile. It must be able to understand human words. When the finger curse spirit heard Lan Shuyun's question, it nodded with its head close to the ground. That's good, two paths. First, bind yourself to me and become my Shikigami. Second, I will beat you until you agree to become my Shikigami. Lan Shuyun said with a smile, but his tone was full of excitement. The previous regret can finally be made up. The finger curse spirit was full of questions. Are these two paths? They are clearly the same path. The difference is that I agree now and you continue to beat me to agree. What? You don't want to? Then here's a third option for you. The third option is, I will slice you up, piece by piece, until you agree to become my Shikigami. Listening to Lan Shuyun's third option, Finger Curse Spirit was a little speechless. Aren't they all the same? So, it decided to give up. Become a Shikigami, anyway, human life is limited, and when this human dies, we will be free. Shikigami signs a contract, a soul-binding contract. So there is really no such thing as the death of the master, and the soul-binding is equivalent. Very good. Lan Shuyun signed a Shikigami contract with the Finger Curse Spirit. The finger curse spirit also knelt obediently with its back straight, waiting like that. Lan Shuyun excitedly released the soul release knife, and Lan Shuyun, who was poking his hand, could not wait to press his palm on the finger curse spirit's head. Let me see. Hair, long, black and straight. Face, a girly face, right. Skin, just normal skin color. Body, ha 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 ha. Why does it feel like playing a face-pinching game? Lan Shuyun began to transform the finger curse spirit. 
The finger curse spirit was confused, because at this moment it felt long black hair coming out of its head. It never thought in its life that one day it would grow hair. Then, it found that its legs began to twist together like a braid and began to extend. This made the finger curse spirit lose its balance and it could only support itself with its hands. But as it supported itself, it found that its chest muscles became very exaggerated. Then, it also found that its upper arms and body shape became very slender, and snake-like scales began to appear on the surface of its skin, and the color was dark green. That's right, Lan Shuyan turned it into a snake girl. Yeah, the regret from last time can be satisfied now. After finishing everything, Lan Shuyan hurriedly stepped back, squatted down, supported his face with both hands and looked at his work. Long straight black hair, delicate face, a horn on the forehead, and then the body of a snake. From now on, you will be called, Yadoshin. Yadogami, a snake demon with horns on its head in Japanese legend. A brief review of Yadogami's character design is here. Ahem, if you can't see it, it means it didn't pass the review. Lan Shuyan stood up, stretched out his hand to hold the horn on Yadogami's forehead, pulled her waist straight, and then stared into her eyes. Now, I am your master and you are mine. Do you understand? Lan Shuyan smiled brightly, and his eyes were narrowed. Yatoshin's black eyes dodged under his long eyelashes, but he still nodded gently. Yes, master, Yatoshin's voice is a bit like Sister Sori. It sounds really good. That's good. Lan Shuyan loosened his grip on Yatogami's forehead, reached out and touched her head, then turned back to look at Gojo Satoru. Gojo Satoru had been watching him since he started playing the cursed spirit like playing badminton. Obviously, he hadn't found Fushiguro Megumi, Itadori Yuji, and Kugasaki Nobara. Quote, comma, comma, quote. Gojo Satoru was speechless at this moment. It was really outrageous. The last time the snake lady was beaten to ashes, Lan Shuyan was really upset. Yadogami, before we came in, did anyone else enter your territory? Lan Shuyan looked at Yadogami. It's best to ask directly. However, Lan Shuyan spread his hands and took out Sukuna's finger from the hole in the middle of Yadogami's chest. No, I haven't left here, and no one has entered here. The tail of the night blade god snake has been shaking, and she answered Lan Shuyan's question very respectfully, because Lan Shuyan is now her master, and his strength completely crushes her. That's right. The ability gained in the time bondage did not disappear just because the night blade god lost his hostility, but would wait for the end of the bondage time. This is another good discovery. That's strange. Lan Shuyan fell into deep thought. Let's go out and look for it again. Gojo Satoru also had no clue. According to the words of Assistant Inspector Nita Akira, the final purpose of their investigation should be here. Without Lan Shuyan's order, Yadogami consciously unlocked the domain. All the surrounding scenes were turning into ashes and disappearing. The scene returned to the middle of the canyon. It was still pitch black outside and very cold, but perhaps it was because Yadogami had become Lan Shuyan's Shikigami. The riverbed stones and branch shadows that originally looked weird looked very normal, no longer having the feeling of looking weird and fierce. However, Lan Shuyan smiled lightly, and then looked in one direction. There was no one there, and the depths were the darkness of the night. Don't worry, teacher, they are here. Lan Shuyan smiled and looked at Gojo Satoru, which made Gojo Satoru stunned for a moment. I see, it seems that the restraints you played are really useful. The improvement of the five senses and physical abilities are really like that of the heaven and tyrant. Gojo Satoru raised his hand and touched his forehead, as if thinking of the past. E.H., Lan, teacher, why are you here? A few minutes later, Yuji Itadori and the other three appeared. They all looked at Lan Shuyan, very surprised. Yuji Itadori, 314. Megumi Fushiguro, 992. Nobara Kugasaki, 335. Find the organization based on the number. There are pictures of Qingshan Shueji wearing a Chongsam with a ball head in the album, and there are also pictures of the author wearing women's clothing. Yuji Itadori and the other two had wounds on their bodies, probably because they had just fought with someone. Lan Shuyan looked at the little arm of Nobara Kugasaki and found no wounds. So, why can't you get in touch? Ms. Nita Akira is very worried about you. Gojo. Satoru touched his chin and asked. Well, because my phone was destroyed. I don't know where Kugasaki's cell phone fell. 
Fushiguro's phone is out of battery. Yuji Itadori touched his head. Then he told their experiences. It turned out that they encountered two other cursed spirits before entering the realm, and then encountered new cursed spirits when they were about to purify them. From their description, they should be blood-stained, bad-looking, and account-looking. That's right, it's the gentle Oni-chan. Exorcised. Lan Shuyan was a little curious. The theft of the nine phases and Sukuna's finger is the same as in the original work, but it is unknown who stole it from Ghetto Suguru. Also, Lan Shuyan has changed a lot of the plot, but the plot at this point still appears, which means that Ghetto Suguru still released the three brothers in the nine phases. And he met them before Yuji Itadori and the others entered the realm of Yadogami. Oh shit, didn't that mean I made Fushiguro Megumi lose a chance to expand a half domain? Lan Shuyan suddenly realized. But never mind. Anyway, Ryumin Sukuna shouldn't be able to do anything weird this time. I have to find a chance to give Fushiguro Megumi's anti-toxic physique a non-action transformation. In this way, Ryumin Sukuna shouldn't target Fushiguro Megumi, right? After all, the anti-toxicity is gone. Wait, Lan Shuyan suddenly had a novel idea. What would happen if Fushiguro Megumi ate the Sukuna finger in my hand? When two special grade cursed creatures take on flesh, will Sukuna's soul consciousness be centered on Yuji Itadori or Fushiguro Megumi? Because Lan Shuyin Shuyin remembered that Qingshin Shueji said that the only consciousness that would be born in Sukuna's soul would be the first person swallowed, that is, the soul consciousness would only be generated in the finger that Yuji Itadori swallowed at the beginning. As for the other fingers, within a certain range, Sukuna can only see what happens near the fingers. Of course. If, like in the end, Sukuna used his own method to inject most of the soul into Yuji Itadori's little finger, broke the finger and let Fushiguro Megumi swallow it, it would not count. Forget it. Lan Shuyan denied it. It is better not to do such uncertain things. Teacher, what do you mean by this finger? Lan Shuyan held Sukuna's finger between his fingers and waved it at Gojo Satoru. Gojo Satoru took it and thought about it. At the beginning, Yuji Itadori swallowed one finger, and he swallowed another one when his grandfather was cremated at the crematorium. The one from Yoshino Junpei was in Yajitsuki's body, and now this is the fourth one. In other words, Yuji Itadori has swallowed two of Sukuna's fingers. Yuji, give it to me. Gojo Satoru threw his finger over. Yuji Itadori hurriedly reached out to grab it, and then his eyes revealed disgust. No matter how many times he saw it, it felt a little strange and disgusting. But Yuji Itadori still raised his head and threw Sukuna's finger directly into his mouth and swallowed it. Lan Shuyan started to think about it. Sukuna's finger was with the fingertips facing down. Wouldn't his throat be pierced by the nails if he swallowed it like this? Normally, shouldn't he swallow it the other way around? Vomit. Sure enough, even the third time I ate it, I felt disgusted. Yuji Itadori stuck out his tongue. This thing tasted like wax. Lan Shuyan rolled his eyes. You're the only one who eats chicken feet with bones. Last time, you asked me if I would get an upset stomach if I ate the food made by Qingshan Shueji that had residual cursed power. Lan, is this your new Shikigami? At this time, Fushiguro Megumi walked to Lan Shuyan's side. This one looked exactly like the snake-shaped cursed spirit that Lan Shuyan had directly blown up during the trial. Did he find a new one to make up for his regret? But he always felt that Lan Shuyan's Shikigami was becoming more and more like a human. Yatsuki was okay, at least she still had the appearance of a jellyfish, and her skin also had a jellyfish-like transparency, so it was obvious that she was a cursed spirit. Fushiguro Megumi hadn't seen Hanami yet, but the one in front of him now, the upper body really looked like an ordinary human girl. Night Sword God, you know there's a curse here too. Come to think of it, you guys came here for this too. Lan Shuyan raised his hand, and Yatoshin returned to his birthplace. Yuki Ona and Yozuki also returned. Well, after all, the final conclusion is that the source of those victims is probably here. It's up to you to solve it, Fushiguro Megumi said, bowing his head in silence. After all, his sister was cursed here, so he originally thought that if the curse here was removed, his sister should be able to wake up. I heard about your sister from the teacher. But, an incident started near here in June, which was exactly when Itadori swallowed Sukuna's finger, and I just got Sukuna's finger here. I think you should be able to figure it out, right? 
Lan Shuyan really didn't lie. While waiting here in the afternoon, Gojo Satoru discussed with him about the matter about Fushiguro Megumi's sister. Fushiguro Megumi's sister was originally done by Geto Suguru. And it has nothing to do with the current Yadogami. Fushiguro Megumi was silent, and he really understood it after thinking about it. Lan Shuyan meant that the cursed spirit here was because Sukuna's finger was here, and there was a bad legend here, so after Itadori Yuji swallowed Sukuna's finger, Sukuna's finger affected this place. Fushiguro Miki fell into a coma in 2011. At this point, Lan Shuyan looked at Gojo Satoru who was arguing with Itadori Yuji. Forget it. Gojo Satoru will find out for himself. Anyway, he now knows that Ghetto Suguru's body is still moving, and the one inside is definitely not the real Ghetto Suguru. And what made Fushiguro Miki fall into a marked coma was the noose that had not yet taken over Ghetto Suguru's body. Can you take me to meet your sister? Maybe I can try to wake her up. According to Lan Shuyan's own guess, Fushiguro Miki is the body of a swimmer who has gone through the Death Reborn swim. Marking her and putting her into a coma is probably aimed at the sleep of the soul, making the connection between the soul and the body become subtle. The reason, it should be so that, Miss Wan, who has signed a contract with Nozomi, can gain control of this body after the death reborn swim begins. In this way, there will be no situation like one soul fighting with another soul for control of the body. If the facts are really as Lan Shuyan speculated, then he believes that he is absolutely capable of reviving Fushiguro Miki. After all, all he has to do is awaken her soul and strengthen its connection with the body. After hearing what Lan Shuyan said, Fushiguro Megumi couldn't help but take a step back, staring at Lan Shuyan with vigilant eyes. Although not bragging, Fushiguro Megumi knows that her sister Fushiguro Miki has a very beautiful appearance. At this moment, Lan Shuyan is also looking at Fushiguro Megumi. Don't you know that the little distance you stepped back just now was tantamount to a huge denial of my preference for someone like me who is in love with cursed spirit girls? I, Lan Shuyan, I have always loved those weird cursed spirit girls, they are the perfect goddesses in my mind. Lan Shuyan's mouth twitched violently. But his declaration was met with a collective look of disgust. Well, we can indeed let Lan try. Although he was arguing with Itadori Yuji, Gojo Satoru was still listening to the conversation between Fushiguro Megumi and Lan Shuyan. And Gojo Satoru's affirmation also made Fushiguro Megumi think. Finally, he nodded. Anyway, it was like this. Even if it got worse, it wouldn't be that bad. So, the group first called Aijichi Jigao's tool again, and asked him to take Itadori Yuji and Kugasaki Nobara back to treat Aiyori Nozomi. And Nita Akira was called to take Fushiguro Megumi, Lan Shuyan, and Gojo Satoru to the special hospital where Fushiguro Miki was. When they arrived at the hospital, Nita Akira was waiting in the car. And Gojo Satoru and the other three went directly into the hospital and came to Fushiguro Miki's exclusive ward. The ward was very dim, and there were some talismans on the surrounding walls. This is Fushiguro Miki. Fushiguro Megumi looked at Fushiguro Miki lying on the bed. Lan. Shuyan also looked over. It was a slender girl with long hair, a clear mark on her forehead, and many wires connected to the instruments on her body. Don't you need liquid nutrient solution to maintain life? Lan Shuyan murmured to himself. He walked over and sat on the chair beside the bed. He reached out and gently stroked her forehead, and a mark began to appear on his left hand. Only then did Fushiguro Megumi discover that the mark on Lan Shuyan's left hand was somewhat similar to the mark on Fushiguro Miki's forehead. Then Lan Shuyan closed his eyes and began to feel Fushiguro Miki's soul. Just as Lan Shuyan thought, the connection between Fushiguro Miki's soul and body was very weak, and their boundary was about to be broken. EMM. Lan Shuyan opened her eyes and looked around. There was nothing that made him want to have any thoughts. The positive energy could not be transformed. This made Lan Shuyan let the Night Blade God go without hesitation. She looked at Gojo Satoru tremblingly. Obviously, she had obtained a lot of information from Qingshan Shuiji in the field of life just now. Hey, swoosh, Lan Shuyan directly hugged the snake tail of Night Blade God and wrapped it around his waist, then let Night Blade God hook his slender arms around his neck and hang on it like Qingzhan Shuiji. A bit small, not as good as Miss Qingshan, but not brain freezing. Every time Miss Qingshan hangs like this, all my desires are frozen away. Lan Shuyan muttered to himself. 
Tisk tisk. How will I deal with Yadogami when I go back later? As he thought about it, the expressionless Lan Shuyin's expression gradually became hentai. And white curse power began to emerge from his palm. Gojo Satoru, who was watching from the side, covered his face directly. He could see that Lan Shuyin was really pure just now, but now he was full of greed. Reversal of the technique and transformation through inaction. Lan Shuyin silently recited the spell, and soon directly touched Fushiguro Sumaki's soul. What? Lan Shuyin needed to do was to stop the soul from sleeping in immersion, but let the soul be pulled by his spell and re-establish a close connection with the body. One minute, two minutes, time passed bit by bit. As if realizing that the positive energy was not enough, Lan Shuyin let Yadogami rub against his back, and then the energy could be strengthened again. Fushiguro Megumi did not pay attention to Yadogami's movements, but kept staring at Fushiguro Sumaki with her eyes closed. Due to the influence of his father who left at a young age and the blood of the Zenin family, he once disagreed with his destiny of becoming a sorcerer in the future. But after Fushiguro Sumaki was cursed and fell into a sleep, he questioned the fact that, the good people who should be happy did not get rewards, so he realized that the world was unfair. So he made up his mind to become a sorcerer in order to create a world where more good people can enjoy happiness equally. He has always tried his best to save the good people, and claimed that this idea was out of his own selfishness and was completely emotional. He did not think of himself as a partner of justice, or a hero. Ten minutes later, Lan Shuyin opened his eyes and gently stroked Fushiguro Miki's forehead. When Lan Shuyin's palm touched Fushiguro Miki's forehead, the mark on her forehead also faded quickly. Okay, now we just have to wait for her to wake up. She has been sleeping for seven years. What her soul has passed on to me is loneliness. She is afraid that if she leaves you alone, you will not be able to live a good life, will you always be silent and have no friends? Lan Shuyin looked at Fushiguro Megumi, then stood up and made way. Fushiguro Megumi looked at Lan Shuyin, then bowed to him solemnly. Thank you so much, Lan. Really, thank you. Fushiguro Megumi's voice fluctuated. Although he didn't burst into tears or anything like that, Lan Shuyin could see that his soul was fluctuating greatly. It was obvious that his soul was not as calm as it appeared on the surface. You'd better wait here until she wakes up. I think she will be very happy when she opens her eyes and sees you first. Lan Shuyin grasped Fushiguro Megumi's arm and pulled him straight. Then he looked at Gojo Satoru. Gojo Satoru nodded and patted Fushiguro Megumi on the shoulder. Then he and Lan Shuyin left the ward together, leaving Fushiguro Megumi sitting on the chair, staring at Fushiguro Miki's pretty face. Gojo Satoru did not follow him back to Jujutsu High School. Lan Shuyin took a taxi back by himself, and Nidaming did not know where he was taking Gojo Satoru. At first I didn't pay attention to the plot, so I didn't remind Yuji Itadori to be careful about the bondage with Sukuna Sada. Now the result is set, Sukuna can activate the binding at any time, so what I need to do is to prevent Fushiguro Megumi from doing whatever he wants after being replaced by Sukuna. Although Fushiguro Miki is fine now, we must ensure that she cannot be killed by Sukuna controlling the Fushiguro Megumi unit, so that there is double insurance. Lan Shuyin muttered to himself. The premise of everything has been set. That is, Yuji Itadori has already signed a contract with Sukuna. This is an established fact, and we can only be on guard from now on. Let Fushiguro Megumi leave Japan, or don't get too close to Yuji Itadori, after all, Sukuna only has one minute of free time. No, Lan Shuyin shook his head, this is not safe. And it is unknown whether Ghetto Suguru will continue to implement the Shibuya plan. Well, never mind, all I need to do is make sure his students are okay. This is my return to him. Should I think about how to make Fushiguro and Kugasaki stronger? I don't need to worry about Yuji. Let me think, what kind of restraints do they have that can cause a bug? Lan Shuyin also started thinking while talking to himself. To be honest, Lan Shuyin played restraints recklessly because of the enemy's mirror image, obtained by his mirror flower, but wouldn't it be a bit difficult to cause a bug in the techniques of Fushiguro Megumi and Kugasaki Nobara? Kugasaki's cursed tools are a hammer and nails. Fushiguro Megumi's shadow has Zenin Maki the spell tool library uses the 10 shadows spell. As for Kugasaki, we can start with the cursed tools she uses. After all, 
the spells are fixed, and the cursed power can only rely on oneself. Fushiguro's words, the Shikigami he possesses but has not subdued as Makora. Lan Shuyan played with the little feet in his hands. That's right, although the driver couldn't see it, Yu was actually still in the back seat. She was tilting her head at this moment, biting her pink lips with her pearly teeth, and watching Lan Shuyan playing with her feet with her green eyes. How to say it, Lan Shuyan likes the big fruits of Qingxin Shuiji, the tentacles and bouncy bouncy of Diu, the white and fragrant feet of Yu, and the snake tongue of Yadogami. Yu's feet are really beautiful and feel very good, and there is no peculiar smell. Instead, it is like the fragrance of nature. There is even an urge to take a bite. Can Kugasaki turn a hammer into an automatic rifle? Can he use bullets as nails? Then, you can't get close to the enemy to fight, which will increase the upper limit of your spell power and spell effect. It should work, right? I just don't know if Kugasaki dares to try it. After all, not everyone is like me, just using the enemy's mirror image to madly restrain, but the price is paid by the mirror image. 10 Shadow Spell Can we use all the Shikigami as a price to gather into a being similar to the bonded beast Otto, etc.? Suddenly, Lan Shuyan widened his eyes and grinned. I think I know what kind of binding contract I should let Fushiguro Megumi make. Because he thought of the bonded beast Odo, Lan Shuyan thought of how Sukuna used the Ten Shadows curse. Didn't Sukuna in the comics already show him that? This wave belongs to me, Lan Shuyan, who let Fushiguro Megumi use the future Sukuna to control the Fushiguro Megumi unit. Although the reason why Sukuna is so strong in using the Ten Shadows Curse, is basically because of his own huge curse power and ability, this does not affect the fact that it can be used as a reference. Wait until Fushiguro comes back, then talk to him. Now that it has been decided, let's just take it one step at a time. Lan Shuyan said as he continued to play with Wa Yu's feet. Then he seemed to be thinking about something. Should he try using Wa Yu's feet? Forget it. Next time, next time. Tonight is Yatoshin's. He has been craving for the snake lady for a long time. He is moved just thinking about it. But, why does he really want to take a bite of Wa Yu's feet? Lan Shuyan fell into deep thought, then opened his mouth silently. He got off the car at the Jujutsu High School and paid the money. The driver looked at Lan Shuyan with strange eyes when he saw him leave. At first, he didn't pay attention to Lan Shuyan. He only paid attention to Lan Shuyan when he started to mutter. Then he found from the rearview mirror that Lan Shuyan was still playing with something in his palm, but in fact, he didn't see anything in his eyes. Then there was a slurping sound, which made the driver stunned. By the way, why is there a fragrance of plant flowers? You were obviously very sleepy just now, but you suddenly feel refreshed now. The driver, who had stopped by the roadside and watched Lan Shuyan, the strange passenger, leave, sniffed the air inside his car, then turned around and looked at the back seat. He found that there were watermarks on the leather cushion of one seat, and it seemed that something was dented, as if someone had just sat there. Ha, huh, the driver was confused, because Lan Shuyan was sitting on the other side just now, and there were no guests here. Could it be a ghost? Could it be that the child was talking to a ghost just now? The driver shuddered all over, then started the car and drifted on the spot, and left in a flash. No, no, we have to go to the Akina Mountain drainage ditch to turn to relieve the fear. Lan Shuyan is here, there is still a long way to go after getting off the car, so Lan Shuyan ran. He couldn't help but have an exchange meeting with Yadogami. That crazy run, but when he reached the gate of the dormitory building, Lan Shuyan stopped directly. Because compared to Kugasaki Nobara and Itadori Yuji who are here, why are you here? Lan Shuyan asked them doubtfully. Lan, Fushiguro's sister, Yuji Itadori hesitated for a moment, but still asked. They actually communicated with Fushiguro tonight, because Fushiguro Megumi planned to deal with the cursed spirits by herself, but they were waiting for her. So they also knew the situation of Fushiguro Megumi's sister. Ah, that one, no problem. If I'm not mistaken, Fushiguro should be communicating with her sister now. Lan Shuyan smiled, sure enough, Huzi is still very kind. It's okay, I think Fushiguro should be back tomorrow. When he comes back, Kugasaki, tell him I have something to talk to you about. I'm very busy now, bye you guys. Lan Shuyan said and ran straight to his dormitory.
Yuji Itadori and Nobara Kugasaki looked at each other, as if they knew what Lan Shuyan was going to do. Nobara Kugasaki's eyes were full of disgust. Why would such a handsome guy like a cursed spirit? He must want to do something with that snake-like cursed spirit. Kugasaki Nobara curled her lips and walked directly back to her room in the dormitory. Itadori Yujin didn't say anything, because he felt that he should respect Lan Shuyan's hobbies, although he didn't understand what was so good about cursed spirits. And Lan Shuyan, a 100-meter sprint, gliding on the spot, the moment he reached the door of his room, he had already taken out the key, and his movements were smooth without any redundancy. He closed the door as soon as he entered. Knight Sword God, come out, let the master check your body carefully. Old rules, check it out carefully first. I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.